Hi, I'm Bill Dare from Spotlight Home Inspection, working with the Gary Mercer Group here at Keller Williams, and we're going to do some tips today on air conditioning and heating filters. Filter performance is directly impacted by several parts of the system and how you use your house. So a house with filter return ducts in the floor versus one with them in the ceiling is going to clog much more frequently. This is a filter that's been left in way too long. This system was working really hard to heat the house or cool the house through this filter. It's like sucking a milkshake through a tiny drink straw. It just can't happen. So this is gonna cost you more to, to heat and cool the house if you let your filter get that dirty. Additionally, the type of filter that you use will impact its performance over time. So if you use a system filter that the heating and air conditioning company prefers, such as this one, which is real basic, it's inexpensive, it's easy to see through, it doesn't do a really great job of filtering the air, but it's all that the system really needs. This will tend to need to be replaced every 30 to 60 days, but it's really inexpensive. If you're going to step up, which a lot of people do, to a pleated paper filter like this one, it does a much better job at filtering but it also means that because of that, it's going to be more prone to clogging. So the more clogged the filter is, the more difficult it is for that system to heat the house. So we're going to be really careful about making sure that if we're gonna use this type of filter, that we're going to change this out every 30 to 60 days at a minimum. Um, so this is a really good filter system, but it, it is limitations are that it clogs rather easily. If you're really interested in cleaning your air, you need to go to something more like this. If you envision how much more filter media is available in this filter, this filter will last, they say a year, I will tell you that I have this exact filter in my house and I can get about six months of it out of it. Now my wife burns a lot of candles which impacts the filter performance because of the, the paraffins in the air. So it probably clogs on my house a little filter, but I would generally suggest most of my clients replace these about every six months. So when you change from heating to cooling, change it. When you change back from cooling to heating, change it. Some heating systems have a washable filter and that's what this is. So you can actually take this out and hose it off and clean it up and shake it out and put it back in the system. Again, this is all that the system really needs. It's not gonna do a lot of extra filtering for you, but if you're not really concerned about trying to make your air filtered better in your house, this is not a bad system. So this is real simple. You don't have to buy a new one all the time. You just have to wash it out. Again, about every 30 to 60 days, depending on whether you have pets and things like that. All the filters have a dimensional piece on them that shows you what the size of the filter is. So the 16 by 25 is this by height, and the one is the thickness of the filter. Anything we can do to help, we're always here for you. Just email us and we'll do our best. Um, the greatest thing is send us a picture and we can figure it out. And that concludes Tip Tuesday for Spotlight Home Inspection and media filters for heating and air conditioning systems. Thank <laughs> you.